Okay, so we start usually clinic um, around 7.30 and, and anywhere between 3.30 and 4.30. Um, we see several patients anywhere from 18 to 22 a day and they range anywhere from uh, the most common things, hypertension, hyperlipidemia, to things that are military affiliated, physicals, um, training programs, and such. We actually see our patients multiple times. Um, usually a lot of our care is uh, follow-ups and making sure that our patients get uh, adequate care. Um, we never usually do a single encounter. We always want to make sure that the problem is resolved and uh, make sure that their care is in good standing before we end for that condition. It's um, a dual role. We, share, we wear two different hats. On one, we are medical professionals and we follow that normal hierarchy that um, doctors are above the physician assistants. But on the other side, we also wear our rank. So we have to balance both being a military professional and also a medical professional. It's definitely given me an appreciation uh, for what my patients go through. Um, it gives me a certain level of um, intel, if you will, on uh, what they're required to do while they're deployed and also gives me an insight on how uh, to best care for them. Um, when you are deployed, of course, things are a little bit different. You don't have the resources that you normally have here, but our main goal is before they deploy, we try to gear whatever their concerns with by um, patient education and letting them know what to do if they need a uh, medical provider. Um, we really do believe in empowering our patients and letting them know as much as possible in our short span of time with them so that they are capable of knowing when they need care. No, not at all. I mean, whether it's the first time I'm seeing them or if I've seen them 10 times before, um, whatever they come in for, if it's important to them, it's important to me. So we try to address their concerns fully and as much as possible with the uh, time we have with them. Approximately almost two years ago, I, I should put it that way, I was uh, uh, notified that I was gonna be the Explosive Ordinance Disposal uh, Primary Care Manager. Now it is a, uh, it's in the initial stages, but what it's intended to do is um, assign one primary care manager to the EOD squadron along with one mental health professional um, so that we can care for both their physical and mental needs. Of course, they have a lot of inflow and outflow, but it can vary anywhere from 15 to 25 members. Um, they are very uh, physically demanding career field as well as, well as a mentally demanding career field. Um, we, as a primary care manager for their physical uh, conditioning, I tend to anything that they have uh, problems with their joints, bones, muscles, especially uh, with anything that they do on a daily basis for training. Um, they are uh, top notch as far as physical conditioning, which comes in part with top notch in future care and preventive care of their health. anything they can. Um, a lot of times reassurance, um, guidance on what to do with their joint pain, body pain while they're in the field, know what they can and can't deploy with as far as their physical ailments, and also um, future care. I, I dare not tell them what their career field is and, and uh, what experiences they need, but my uh, part is whatever concern they have to try to uh, fix that problem or get them the people that would be able to assist them in any way they need. Um, my next uh, goal is to be a great flight medicine PA and um, do that to the best of my abilities, of course. It'll be a new experience for me. Um, I spent two years as a family health provider and it will open my eyes uh, to the world of uh, pilots and aviation and their health needs. I wouldn't say it's the next step because not every uh, physician assistant gets offered this program. Um, the selection is, of course, uh, delicate, for lack of a better word. They choose the best candidate that they think would be uh, best for the job.
No, absolutely. I would be able to uh, leave the Air Force and apply to a civilian PA job, just give my resume and that should be it. And a matter of fact, um, the military experience that uh, I have is greatly appreciated by a lot of civilian programs. Well, to be honest, I, I know that I'm going to retire as a military PA. I've spent 14 years and uh, I've loved every minute of it, so I can't see myself doing anything else. If anything, it, uh, it's going to be quite a shock when I transition to the civilian life. Um, my goal after I retire is to come back to the military as a civilian and uh, do the same job that I'm doing now.